Hi again. Bruce Lee has uh, acquired mythical status. Uh, I, I remember first reading about him in a Black Belt magazine uh, sometime in, in the uh, late 60s. And uh, the pictures showed um, some really good form. His, his kicks looked look good in the pictures. Um, I always remember the interviewer said to him that, uh, isn't it time you had a haircut? His hair was slightly long. It was about half an inch too long by modern standards, which uh, is really bizarre looking back now. Then um, sometime later, um, I was having a meal in uh, Liverpool Chinatown and um, the waiter um, used to tell us about the um, Kung Fu movies, Chinese movies that were on. They, they were shown to the Chinese people on a Sunday afternoon and he knew of our interest. We, we went to some of them and he said, uh, this afternoon is uh, Bruce Lee, the big boss. That was his first film. So I phoned Terry and he shot down and uh, together we went to see the big boss and I wrote the first review of it in, in England in, in the magazine um, and then of course sometime later um, Bruce Lee died he actually died while I was in Japan and uh, the tremendous um, interest in the martial arts as a result of his movies um, so he, he had a very short career but he had a varied one and um, Although he's remembered for his acting and for the martial arts movies, he, he was also an instructor. And uh, he, he formed his own system based originally on Wing Chun, which he'd done back in Hong Kong. Uh, he, he taught in um, the Seattle and, and the California areas. And while he was um, injured, he... he Put all his thoughts together in a book called the Tao Ji Kung Do, which is, is quite an interesting manuscript when you think about it. And funny enough, Arnold Schwarzenegger did the same. He was injured and rather than just lie in bed, he wrote a book. So it, it shows that people with great motivation always find a way to do things. Anyway, um, bring, brings us to the book that we're going to be reviewing, Ji Kung Do. The Art and Philosophy of Bruce Lee by Dan Innocento. And Dan was a senior student of uh, Bruce Lee and uh, uh, is fully versed in the uh, system. So what's presented in the book is what Bruce Lee used to teach. And Bruce Lee made a big distinction between the kind of martial arts he did in the movies, which was theatrical, and what he taught to, in his classes, it was different, and uh, he, he was very much into into functional uh, martial arts. Now, one of the interesting things I thought it, it gives the history um, of the training groups and the different instructors, and um, some of the specialized kit that Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee developed. This is a a face dummy for doing uh, eye strikes and things like that. He, he was a pretty decent artist and um, he generated lesson plans for his guys. And this is one he did for uh, Danny Innocento for weight training, uh, which is very nice to do and uh, also uh, very well presented. Uh, the book, a lot of technical details of the system and um, in, in more recent years uh, D Danny Inosanto has gone more into the Filipino martial arts and he's become more renowned for that and I kind of get the um, the idea that JKD has sort of faded a little bit um, there's a lot of good stuff in the book a lot of good training drills training methods um, and um, there's certainly a lot of um, very, very relevant information in it. Uh, I think some instructors, and this is not Danny, have presented JKD as kind of the ultimate martial art. And uh, there's no, no such thing as the ultimate martial art, obviously. Uh, and also, as I said in the intro, Bruce Lee has become this mythical person. 
and, and there's movies about uh, his life and all the fights he had and um, uh, death matches and, and all sorts of nonsense that didn't happen and, and the truth in the book so uh, from the histo history point of view it's, it's a good read as well um, as I say um, there's been a little bit of a cult developed around JKD and so, some of the instructors and again not Danny and, and not some of the mainstream guys um, sort of uh, are prima donnas a little bit I'd say but um, as a martial art as a, a means of practicing and training and, and personal development um, it's it's as good as any and uh, it, it's certainly uh, quite interesting I, I never studied it I never really experienced it to any any great degree it was taught alongside uh, Filipino martial arts in one of the places I went but which was which I don't really know um, I did a little bit of Wing Chun at one time as well um, which was the, the base art um, and you know it's all interesting uh, but I, I do recommend this book um, uh, Danny's written another book uh, which I'm going to be reviewing as well uh, at a slightly later date and um, He's, he's a great instructor in person and uh, the books he's produced are well worth reading.